Hello, welcome to Cecil Says, and welcome to She-Hulk episode six. It ends at eight. There's fucking hope, and I think it's not getting picked up again. Uh, this was shit. Let's get this over with. I know I watched this like two weeks ago. It took me a week to watch it. It's fucking awful. It's as bad as it's ever been. Um, actually, that's not even true. It's it's fucking getting worse. Uh, all right. What's this one's horse shit? Is this the wedding one? Yeah. All right. This is the wedding episode. It's fucking makes no sense. A show by morons for morons, and I am your leading moron watching this shit every fucking week. Uh, I already watched seven. I, I, seven is even worse. I don't even. All right, let's get into it. Let's just get this fucking over with. All right, uh, so here's uh, here's our fucking hero. Now, I don't know why they have to portray her as like a goofy loser. Like, she was working for the district attorney. She's an accomplished person. She's not bad looking. I mean, she's not great looking, but she's not she's not bad looking. She's an accomplished, smart person, but. I don't know. It's, is this supposed to be funny? Or anyway, she's a goofball here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> this is the funny. She's getting glitter. Because somebody would send invitations to a wedding in a giant box like this. Oh, goody. No, Jen, you don't need to bring a loop. And she's not happy. Oh, goody. Sarcastically. So don't go. So don't go. <laughs> so don't go, you bitch. Jacobson business suit to a wedding. I want to see the super suit that he... Oh, yeah. See the super suit. Is she going to wear the suit to the wedding? No. We had a whole fucking episode where this one and the other moron go to get her a suit. And it's been like two episodes and they still don't show the damn suit. Made you. Why? I'm never going to wear it. Come on. Why is she laughing and saying, I'm never going to wear it? Why is that funny? Like, why is she saying, I'm never going to wear it? Ha ha ha. There was a whole episode where you had to go get a suit. Then they don't show the suit. And now you're like mocking the suit. What the fuck is going on? You're killing me. And it's twice as much of a sin to kill a fun person. No, no, no. Look at the dress that Luke made me in rehearsal dinner. What? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so she's going to the wedding, and she's going to go as She-Hulk, which is fine, I guess. I don't know what the fuck. Is. Everybody has an ass. Hi, Jen. Hi, Lou. Oh, my God. Um, can I talk to you for a second? I can't believe you're doing this to me. What? Taking all the attention. Okay. So remember this part because it's going to directly contradict another part of the show. And, and nothing matters. Nothing matters. It, brain dead idiots. They gave this fucking job to brain dead idiots. So here she is. This is her friend. I don't understand why she's her friend. She doesn't treat her nice. She, she doesn't seem, they don't seem to like each other. Uh, but anyway, she's a bridesmaid at the at the wedding. She Hulk comes. You would think you'd be thrilled to have like a legit, you know, superhero show up at your wedding. It would be kind of a fucking, you know, conversation piece or something notable. But no, no, she's like, no, you can't be She Hulk at my wedding. Um, I, I do not want you to be She Hulk at my wedding. Now remember this part because just remember it. Get away from me with your. No one's going to be looking at me. All eyes are going to be on you. It's your big day. I know it's my big day. I don't want you to be all hulky at my wedding. Promise me, Jen. Promise? I, I promise. I will just show up as regular Jen at your wedding. Thank you. No. Okay. Okay. <sighs> it's my big day. Mm. Yeah, obviously, this is the one time I didn't want to show up as just Jen. Oh. 
All right. So this is the drama of this <laughs> fucking show. All right. Then there's the B plot, which is the men are awful because you got to have awful men. What's the point of having this show? So there's this guy, Mr. Immortal. Uh, he's actually the only likable person in this whole fucking show. And it's, and the whole point is he's supposed to be unlikable. Like he's supposed to be an asshole man. Basically, this is also written by fucking morons because it makes no sense. Um, the storyline here is he, he's immortal. So whenever he gets married and he wants a divorce, he just jumps in front of a train or jumps out a window dies and walks away except that's not a divorce like you have to get buried there has to be a death certificate he just gets hit by a car momentarily dies and then walks away that would be like anybody who ever got hit with a defibrillator it would have to get remarried because they died for a second it doesn't work like that there's nothing it doesn't work like that. He's he's never was declared dead. He doesn't even have to kill himself for the way he he kills himself to leave his wife. So now the, all these wives are suing him, and he's the bad guy, and because he's a man. But the thing is, he just could have walked out the door. He doesn't need to actually hurt himself because it legally doesn't end the marriage to to die for a split second, not have it recorded by any legal authority and walk away. But in this show, nothing fucking matters because nobody uses a fucking brain. So like, wouldn't it be funny if the, you know how men are, they would rather die than, than, than deal with their emotions. I mean, this is the fucking writer's room. I guarantee it was that men honestly would die before they had to confront like their shortcomings and their emo, whatever the fucking bullshit. So they just, Somebody said a sentence like that and they wrote a fucking storyline around it and it's fucking retarded. It doesn't make any sense. You don't end the marriage by dying for a split second, not having it recorded, having no funeral, whatever, whatever. Nothing fucking matters. I'm the only one who cares. No one writing this cared. Yeah. It's not like I didn't try the whole marriage thing. I did several times. In fact, it could be said that no one has tried more than me. Probably literally. And I, I'm a good guy. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but you know, inevitably things go stale. But that is a tough conversation. I don't want to be married to you anymore. I find that you are emotionally suffocating me and you wear weird pajamas. Can you blame me for walking out into traffic during rush hour and putting an end to the whole issue right then and there? Uh, he is the only, like, I don't know the actor's name, but he's, he's a character actor. He's been in a lot of stuff. He was in strangers with candy, which was a very funny fucking sitcom in the nineties. It was very politically incorrect. Uh, if you get a chance to watch that, watch that. But this guy actually has some comedy chops. He's the, literally the only likable person in here. Of course, they're already scowling at him. Oh my God, this man would rather die than, you know, than, than leave his wife properly or stay with his woman. So his representation hates him and takes the side of the people suing him. Of course, because. Wait, what? Let me get this straight. Are you saying that instead of having a conversation with your wife, you kill yourself to get out of the relationship? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't kill myself. I'm immortal. So I can't die. I'm sorry, and, and you, you think that this woman who has a law degree doesn't know what immortal means? Nick, well, but in, right. in my case, I do die, but only in the legal sense. So you die. The, I do I die, but only for a little, kind of die, but, but I do die. Did you ever feel bad about this tactic? Oh, like I said, I'm a nice guy. You said. <sighs> Everybody's insufferable. Thank you. Someone's calling me. Uh, everybody's insufferable in the show. The, the fucking side characters, nothing makes sense. I hate it. 
Ever. Oh, I thought that this that lawyers were supposed to not be judgmental. No, they're just they just have to represent you. I'm obviously I'm out. ending I'm a relationship. That is so hard. messed up. But so is any sort of personal death. growth, spouse? right? No, I'm not He's sure like, who I should worry about. The government because he does it every single time. Was there an death. insurance we're claim after death. any of the answers which I did? That is literally the most relatable scene of the entire series. That is how I feel watching the show. That that is that I think pretty much exp is that's the audience right there. That guy it, it represents the audience of this show. I don't know. It, this is an endurance endurance contest. I know there's only two episodes left, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to get picked up. I don't know why they would ever fucking make a season two of this shit, but. That is the audience. That man represents the fucking audience. I'd rather hurl myself out a fucking window. Yeah. Okay. So that's how he would leave his wives and be like, see, I killed myself to get out of marriage. Except you didn't kill yourself. You you just jumped out a window. Like you didn't need to like they, they go through all the ways he killed himself. He didn't need to do any of that. He could have just walked out because it doesn't do anything to him. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. It'd be different if, if, if they would bury him and he'd come back to life a week later and dig himself out of the fucking grave, then it would make sense. Like he was, but that would fucking take too much thought to make it that. That he literally would have the funeral, get buried. Although they even mentioned that he did have a funeral once, but it doesn't even fucking make sense because he doesn't die long enough. He only dies for a split second. So why the fuck would they have a funeral? It no thought. Zero, zero, zero thought into this show. May you want to make it interesting? Make it so that he does have a funeral, get buried, and dig himself out. And that's how he's been getting away with it. But no, he just Basically, because he jumps out windows instead of walking out the front door. Whatever. Good on him. Get the fuck away from those cunts. Ugh. I'm powering through this. Oh, 12 minutes. I already want to be done by now. What the fuck is next? Even to catch up at all. Okay, so this is... I don't know. Is it, this is this is just the the writers? This Jen is the writers. They're like pathetic, whatever chicks, I guess. And I guess they get treated like shit for not having boyfriends, or I don't know. It's the cliche, like um, I don't get treated the same because I'm in my thirties and single. It's like whatever, shut up. And it's 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 just so fucking tired and hacky and just poorly executed and unoriginal and it's shit. Uh, how are you? What have you been up to? What's going on? Oh, um, actually, I'm the head of a new department at GLKNH, which is like one of the most prestigious law firms in the country. And I mean, as you saw, I now have superpowers, uh, which is nuts. No, I didn't mean any. I don't want that. You, um, like, are you dating a guy? You see the. <laughs> nothing else matters to a girl except if you're dating you know all your other achievements are zero it's just so unfair hi a boy is there oh. a boy in your life <laughs> oh no 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 oh no i'm sorry you'll find someone don't feel bad oh i don't feel bad. you should feel bad i happen to be dating and oh and now for no fucking reason titania is at the wedding Wants revenge on her for losing the trademark battle. I mean, to dredge up that fucking boring. Here's the other thing. It doesn't even make sense. Why does Titania want She-Hulk's fucking name? Titania is already famous. She has a huge fan base and has a huge social media thing. She's supposed to be obviously fucking, you know, Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie type. She's famous for being famous. Why wouldn't she? And Titania is a cooler name than She-Hulk anyway. Why wouldn't she just use her own fucking name? She has a huge fan base and following. In fact, the, the, the bride kisses this woman's ass because she's so famous. So why the fuck would she be after She-Hulk's fucking name? It doesn't make sense. Titania on her own is famous. She has a big social media. Doesn't make sense. Nope, no fucking thought. No, I'm so mad that I lost 
the right to your name when I should be naming my makeup after myself. Okay, I guess that's it. That's the big rivalry is I wanted to steal your name and you didn't let me. So now I hate you forever. I mean, that's a fucking rivalry. That's <sighs> what the friend f- of the groom. And he invited me. Titania. Hey, girl. Hey. You made it. You're so busy, though. You have like 5,000 businesses. I do. <laughs> what? No, no. She has weaseled her way into this wedding to mess with me. That is so obvious. Why does nobody else see that? Okay, you're being very loud. <laughs> Jen, I hear you again. Okay, so she all gets treated like shit. Titania, because she's so famous and loved, gets treated like gold. So why does Titania want She-Hulk's fucking name? (laughs) Why would she not use Titania? That's a fine name for fucking makeup. It sounds like a fuck... Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. She wasn't wasn't using her likeness. She was just using the name She-Hulk. Why not use Titania? And why is it that she doesn't want Jen to upstage her, but she's okay with Titania coming and being a star at the wedding. Doesn't matter. Turn your fucking brain off. Watch shit. Fucking put a hose in your ear that pumps liquid fucking shit into your brain. That's what this is. No thought. Jen, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I found you. Half the event staff is like quitting because of how... Okay, so she fucking meets this guy. He's like handsome and, and charming and... uh. And then uh, this chick comes and interrupts it. I'm treating them. Do you think you could help me, like, clean some stuff up around here, straighten up, take up some of these empties, like, tidy up? I could really use your help with something inside. Please, yeah. real quick. Yep. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, yeah. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Right. So, uh, so she's now going up to her friend who works at a high-powered law firm. Forget, forget the fact that she's a famous fucking superhero now, too. You go up to your friend who's in a high-powered, you know, uh, uh, legal profession and be like can you fucking start cleaning up at the wedding i i don't i I know chicks that fucking are broke with with (laughs) they would go tell her to go fuck herself why why are we following this girl this loser like why is she our the hero she should be like i'm not fucking cleaning up the dishes at your fucking wedding fuck out of here i'm out of i'm gone go fuck yourself no I'm just a sad sack. I can't get a man. Uh, they treat me. They make me clean up the wedding because the step. Why do we like her? Why do we like Jen? Because she's a. F- what the fuck. Me, my friend sent me. A- oh, and here comes the big comedy. These are all. Uh, this is all of his ex-wives. Uh, it's very and ex-husband. Uh. I don't even know what the fuck this is. It's just awful. It's just... Link to a video posted on that site, Intelligentsia. The one for hateful man babies? Yep, that's... Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I've read. This is the the shit on men segment of She-Hulk. The one for hateful man babies? Yep. Okay, so they saw a video of him coming back to life, and then they all started realizing... I don't know. The one. Anyway, you saw this man walk into a busy intersection, and then he gets hit by like four different cars. His body regenerates, and then he just gets up and walks away. Mm-hmm. I, of course, immediately recognize my idiot husband, Roger. I mean, he's your idiot husband, but you married him and. You glared him dead without seeing his dead body? I don't understand. He was able to leave you by pretending to be dead, but you never saw him die? I don't fucking understand anything. This is exactly what I was worried about. Not only did you fake your own death multiple times, you also forged multiple fake identities. Frankly, all of these spouses should be filing criminal charges. Mm -hmm. You are lucky you're not in prison. I will never understand women if I live to be a... And I will. You'll understand this one. Mm-hmm. I will get you the best possible deal under the circumstances. Thanks. Don't touch me. But let me tell you this. You're going to have to pay. Why are you smiling? It's kind of fun. Yeah. He's likable. They're not. That, they, 
they don't even get it. Like, he's actually likable. And the fucking bitches that are like, we're going to put the screws to this guy. He treated women bad. You do? Oh, and here's our hero acting heroic again. She finally meets a uh, guy, and what does she do? She throws up. Oh no. Are you, are you oh afraid? no, it's happening. What's, what's... <laughs> yeah, let it out, babe. Let it all out. All right. One, that would have killed her. Two, all she had to do is turn into She Hulk. Didn't they show that when she turns into She Hulk, it, she can't get drunk? So instead of throwing up, she could have went outside and turned into She-Hulk and been sober. But whatever. Two, if you get punched in the face hard enough to lift you off the ground and move you about 30 feet, you're dead. <laughs> you die. But uh, whatever. I I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Okay. Here we are. This is, this is the excitement. This is the exciting super heroics of the show here. Get ready. My veneers. Oh, you think this is funny? No. Her veneers cracked and her teeth look funny, so this is funny. This is a comedy. Are you showing your 11 followers on Instagram? Where are you going? And I'm taking this. She's, she's taking a cake. <laughs> what will they think of next? She took a cake. Now, remember the bride being like, whatever you do, don't be She-Hulk. I don't want you to be She-Hulk. You'll ruin my wedding if you're She-Hulk. Remember that. Oh, Lulu, I know I promised. She sucker punched me when I was throwing up. Like, who does that? Oh my god. She Hulk is at my wedding. Yeah. I love you so much. I'm a fan. Whoa, huge yeah, boobs. Yeah, they're big. Okay, huge boobs. Congrats. <laughs> Whatever. I love the photo of your guy. Nothing fucking matters. Nothing matters. She's so happy to have her at her wedding now. Nothing fucking matters. This is this honestly, like, I don't know, sixth grade girl maybe could have wrote this. I don't know who could have wrote this, written this rather. Who could have written this? It was fucking. They they put millions of dollars into this production. It was written written by I, I, maybe I don't know. Yeah, about fifth or sixth grader. It makes no fucking sense. Is that it? Is that the end of the fucking show? That's the end of the show. That's the end of the fucking show. That's it. Titania breaks her veneers and leaves. Why is she still haunting her for losing a trademark battle? I that's the big that's that's the big drama of the fucking season is a trademark for She-Hulk's name that doesn't really seem to be that worth that much anyway to Titania since she has a name that's well known and she's already a celebrity. It doesn't make sense. I fucking who cares? I hate this show so fucking much. Honestly. Um, yeah, there's going to be... Two more shows. I already watched the next one. It gets fucking worse. It gets worse. 
Next one is the all comedy episode. It's it's a laugh riot and uh Jesus Christ, 25 minutes. So thanks for sticking around for this. Uh if you like this shit, um just subscribe or hit like. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to do. All right. Bye.